But anyway, so let's try the formal charge here now, okay? So now that we have the formal charge equation, right? So formal charge equals the number of valence electrons minus half the number of bonding electrons minus the number of bon non-bonding electrons. So um, let's try to do the formal charge for carbon and for oxygen. So um, the number of valence electrons for carbon, right, is four, we'll get that from the periodic table, minus one half the number of bonding electrons. So how many bonding electrons do we have? So four. two, four, six, eight, right? Minus the number of non-bonding electrons. Well, it doesn't have any. So four minus four minus zero is Zero. So, um, as you would expect, if you recall the structure of methane, you, you remember that carbon with four bonds is neutral. So you might expect this one to be neutral as well. Um, so we can do the one for oxygen now. So, so carbon. So how many valence electrons does oxygen have? So six, very good. One half. So the non, uh, the number of bonding electrons in this one is two. You only have the one bond. And minus the number of non-bonding electrons, so two, four, six. So six minus six is zero. One half times two, or negative one half times two, is negative one. Okay. So the formal charge on that oxygen is negative one. So in this case, um, and in all of these cases now, you should be able to look at some sort of polyatomic <coughs> formula for a polyatomic ion, like this one, and figure out where that charge resides, which atom that charge would reside on. Okay, so it's not just kind of, you know, a lot of times you'll see them sometimes in brackets and they'll say like that. Okay, and they're not really specifying what atom it lies on. Now you can do that type of stuff. Are there any questions on this one?